and welcome to my Tarot Corner. So today in this reading, uh, I'm going to try something that I never tried before. It is uh, called the uh, Big Sequence Reading or Sliding Doors. And it is used when you are is looking at uh, several options. Now, the options can be uh, regarding choosing places to work, uh, regarding choosing people to date when you are, for example, uh, dating more than one and you want to decide which is better for you, then you can get a glimpse to which is the best option. Now, I'm going to use it in uh, Netflix's, uh, uh, let's say, their uh, need to decide when will Harry and Meghan's uh, docuseries will air. Now, uh, there, I, I've, I've done a reading about it before, and I did get that Netflix are going to postpone the docuseries, that they are not going to air it if, uh, in the next year, in the, I mean, this year. And uh, then more information came out, and there was more uh, definitive uh, decisions that Netflix is going to air the docuseries around Christmas this December. But now when we know that Harry's book is coming out in January, then we then uh, Harry wants the book to come out uh, to the docuseries to come out with the book, which means to postpone the docuseries to January. Now, uh, from Harry's point of view, I can think of uh, one reason, and that could be because we do know that there are discrepancies between the book and the docuseries that Harry doesn't want people to have time to uh, already see the docuseries before they decide whether or not they buy his book. So he feels that if the docuseries comes before the book comes out, people will have no need in, a, in buying his book. They will have, feel that there is nothing for him to say more than what he already said in that docuseries. Uh, another reason might be that he doesn't want to be scrutinized uh, the minute his book comes out because people already know what is in the docu-series and about the discrepancies that uh, there are there, or at least uh, there, there are rumors that they are there. And uh, we already know that uh, Megan uh, is starting the campaign to uh, distance themselves from, Netflix, from the Netflix docu-series, trying to say that she was not the one, or they were not the one responsible to, for how their story is coming out. And there are so many rumors about this docuseries. So what is going on in this reading? And I might need to go back to my notebook. This is something that we just learned in, our, uh, in my new uh, master's course. Uh, it's, a, it's a reading of five cards that uh, we are uh, taking, um, comparing to one another. Each card has uh, even more than one meaning. And we're starting with uh, asking to investigate the matter and the first, we're talking about the first option. By the way, if more options come up, we can add them uh, during the, after we already split the cards. And we are splitting the cards into five. So without further ado, um, let me say my disclaimer, this is a tarot reading, it is vibrational, it is open to interpretation, it exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true, so please do your own research and decide for yourself. But this is the cat's eye tarot. And I'm going to do the reading from Netflix point of view and what Netflix feel that is more uh, helping them or what is their preferred 
a choice. Okay, so let's start by clearing the deck. Okay, so I want to investigate which is the best choice for Netflix in regard to airing Harry and Meghan's docu-series. Uh, I will start with the first option of airing the docu-series in December 2022, which is the, first, the best option for Netflix in regard to when to uh, broadcast Harry and Meghan's docu-series. Okay, so I'm cutting the deck into five and they need to be sort of the same size, especially if we want to explore more than one, with than two options, then we need a, a more or less the same size of a, of a cards. And the first card, uh, the first, this, the first pro, this is the row for airing the, um, this is for airing the docu-series in December. And this is for, the second row is for airing the docu-series uh, later on. So postponing the docu-series and I'm not giving it a, a, a specific time. So the first card in each row gives us a, the agenda of Netflix in regard to that option. Now, it usually it also represents the past. The past, it, it has two, two sides. The first card has two sides. It represents the past of uh, Harry and, uh, or the Sussexes and Netflix uh, relationship from Netflix point of view. Uh, of course, when, we, they, when people don't have a past together, we're looking at what do Netflix or what do, do uh, want from Harry or want from their next star. For example, if they are looking at uh, uh, several options for people to uh, invest money in. So first, the first card is a card that shows us their past and we're getting the hanged Kitty. The Hang Kitty is the Hanged Man. So the Hanged Man, it's a card that speaks about a changing point of view. This is a card that speaks about seeing things differently. Uh, this card shows me that in their past relationship, Netflix had to flip themselves several times in order to adjust themselves to Harry and Meghan. They kept on a feeling that they need to change perspective, to change point of view over and over again. This is something that happened in their past all the time. Now, in regard to uh, this option, which is the option of uh, getting the, the, the Netflix uh, documentary out by December, uh, it is not a great option for uh, Netflix. It goes well with how I saw it before, because once again, it requires some kind of a feeling that they are changing something that they meant to do differently, that they are changing point of view. Now, this could be something that comes out because they believe that this could be better than, uh, than the option of postponing it. But once again, this is a card that shows that they are feeling in a way sacrificial, uh, that they are feeling uh, that uh, they are doing things, you know, you know, flipping all over in order to uh, pacify the Sussexes. It also shows a belief that everything will be okay. So, this is the first card. This is uh, their Netflix past with Harry and Meghan. And this is also about what, how they feel about this, uh, this option. And what they feel is it's that uh, uh, putting the, uh, the, the Netflix in, uh, uh, 
putting it on the, in December is kind of a sacrifice, but they believe that it might uh, it might uh, go on all right that it will go uh, that it will end up okay but it is a kind of a sacrifice for netflix so it's not something that they meant to do or mean to do this is not something that they want to do okay so that's the first card and the second card is the present and the present is more about a what do Netflix want from the Sussexes? What do they look for when they are a, a, when they are getting someone to do documentary? What that, what are they looking for in that documentary? And the card that I'm getting is the Wheel of Fortune. So that is another card that speaks about relying on a, on luck. And this is a card that speaks about change. This is a card that speaks about taking destiny in their own hands. They feel, and in this instance, about the docuseries, they took a chance. This is about taking a chance. Both of these cards are about taking a chance. Both of them are major arcanas. And they felt, feel that they took a chance on Harry and Meghan, and they expect this docuseries to change the way people see Harry and Meghan, also to change uh, their Netflix uh, revenues, Netflix's uh, count of subscribers. They are relying on this as something that will cause a major change. The, ten, the, the Wheel of Fortune is a very major change, change for, that comes from the inside and goes all the way to the outside. So they are counting on something that will change the way that they are seen in the world, Netflix themselves, but also the Sussexes. So this is the main thing that they want from the, this docu-series. And this is true for the second row as well. So this is something that they want about this docu-series uh, uh, as well, but it also uh, shows us that uh, how much they really want the docu-series to air in, uh, the, in, the, in December. And this is uh, once again a uh, relying on luck um, card. And this also shows that they are not sure about this option, that it seems to them that this is putting too much on the wheel of fortune, too much on uh, luck and not very much on uh, real substance. Okay, next card is the card of the future. And now the future is not exactly showing us the future, it is showing us a, what, a glimpse to the future. So how well will this, uh, this docuseries succeed if they, it is aired on December? And we get the magician, a third uh, major arcana. So the magician, it's a complex card. Why? Because the magician is a card that speaks about a, is a, a person who can create, uh, this shows some kind of creativity, uh, but it also a person that is, uh, needs to an audience, someone who needs to perform in front of an audience. This is also a person that is seemed or looked at as weird, eccentric, uh, someone who is uh, ignoring the best solutions, someone who is uh, using deception and trickery. So altogether, this is not a great option for Netflix because the magician, although it might, they might looked at, be looked at very creative, this could be taken to the wrong side of people saying, God, they are so creative with their lies. Uh, so it could be taken to the creative side, but it could also be taken to people that are seeking attention, people that uh, are not conforming with the 
population, with how people, other people see the world, people that expect others to do things uh, just for them. And this is about trickery and deception, and this is how this docuseries might be seen. Okay, so that is how we can see the future in this option. Now, the next card is reasons, and the reasons is uh, the obstacles, actually. actually it's the obstacles or the, the problems that might arise if this uh, is aired in December, and we get the devil. Okay, so the devil is a bad card, and just notice that all of the cards here are major arcanas. This is a very... A very spiritual re uh, uh, reading for December. This is not something that is grounded. And once again, as I said, I believe that Netflix will uh, postpone this uh, docu-series according to my late, latest reading about that. But the devil is about there is the, the, the darkness that is there where there is no light. So if we're looking at why this docuseries might fail, it's because people will see the lies, people will see the neglect, people will see how uh, darkness is filled with, uh, how the Sussexes are filled with darkness. They will see the misleading, they will, I, I believe that in the, if, they, if it's aired in December, Harry's image is going to be very, very uh, um, down because he will be seen as someone who is shackled, someone who is uh, taking all of the wrong advice, someone who is lying to himself, uh, someone who is addicted in a way even to his wife. So he will be seen in a very bad light. And maybe that is the reason why Harry doesn't want this to come out before uh, his book comes out, because people that will see Harry in that docuseries will not want to buy his book. So as I say, this, this is in the obstacle, and it doesn't even have to be in the obstacle to show us how bad it is. So all the reasons to fail are there. And this shows us that they are unable to see reality. They are shackled and unable to see uh, the truth. And this is about the Sussexes. This is also about, in a way, about Netflix that will air this docuseries, although it's, even if they postpone it, it will still contain the same, uh, the same content. And if they are airing this uh, docuseries, it will not help them to change their luck or to change their destiny. Okay, the next card is the uh, results. Now, results shows us the potential. So it shows us what is needed to be done in order for those, this docuseries to be aired in uh, December in, and to succeed. And what we're getting here is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is the Yes, the, the only good card here, and the only card that is grounded, that is minor arcana. Nine of Cups is a card of wishes coming true. Now, if the potential is not, so this shows that there is potential. There is potential, and in order for this potential to grow, they need to act as if all of their wishes are coming true. The, this is like a uh, fake it till you make it. Uh, this is about uh, knowing how to succeed, uh, in uh, how, knowing how to accept abundance. Uh, it's badly aspected because it can, comes right after the devil and it shows us perfectionism. It shows us people that need to prove themselves. And this is showing us that Netflix need to uh, prove themselves in order to change their destiny, in order to change their, 
the, the way the, the way their uh, company is uh, going towards. And this card is showing us that they need to try and fake it. If they want to air this uh, uh, docu-series in December, they will have to fake it. They will have to fake a acceptance of the Sussexes, belief of the Sussexes, they will have to fake that this is something they believe in. And once again, because we have the, 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 the Wheel of Fortune and the Hanged Man here, it is about belief. Belief is a very big part here, but these cards are showing us that they are not very much believing them, so they will have to fake that. Okay, the next uh, uh, option is for them to postpone. And the first card is, as I said, the past. Now, the past doesn't change because uh, uh, the hangman still represents the past between Harry and, and or the Sussexes and, um, and um, Netflix. So this card will only show us their agenda to this uh, to this uh, option. What is their agenda? And the agenda is the Eight of Wands. So they want things to uh, be very quickly, to start quickly, to end quickly. This is also about electronic communication. And uh, this shows that they do prefer to postpone this. So I believe that all of the uh, articles that are coming out about uh, uh, a quarrel between Harry and Netflix is is a ruse to try and to persuade us that Netflix weren't going to postpone it, but they will budge and uh, uh, let Harry have his way. But they, this is a card that shows that they want to, things to happen quickly. They want things to, uh, to be very uh, swift. They want to be in the right place at the right time. So, and as you can see here, the, here, the Eight of Wands is about getting out of a burning building. So in a way, this is about saving what you have and going away from this collapsing building, going away from this burning building, because this is how they feel this uh, docu-series is. So they are preferring to postpone it, but then they want it to end already. So they are in mixed emotions about this, uh, but still this card is better than the hangman. It is uh, more grounded and they prefer this option. Now the next card is the present card and it is not going to show us uh, like the Wheel of Fortune uh, their attitude towards the Sussexes because we already saw it in the Wheel of Fortune. So it will show us their attitude towards uh, this uh, option and more of the things that are happening between Harry and um, the Sussexes as it is right now. And we are getting the Hermit. And the Hermit is somewhat, it's a card of loneliness. It's a card of uh, going away to find the truth, but it's also a card of someone who feels very much alone. I think that this is how they see Harry. They see Harry as someone who is very lonely, someone who is uh, really struggling to find his own truth. And in their, uh, in their, uh, in their feelings, uh, this is not so good as the Wheel of Fortune. So they are really conflicted about, uh, about this option as well. So, uh, I mean, if I had gotten this about uh, um, airing it in December, it would make more sense because they want to to they want it's over yet already. They want to be over that. This card shows us that they don't trust Harry. They don't trust Harry. They don't 
They don't trust his book. They are afraid of the truth that might come out in the book. And they are afraid that their docu-series will be damaged by things that will come out in the book. So this reason, this is the reason why they are leaning towards uh, more that more def more of airing the docu series before the book, but still it came out here. It came in the place of postponing it, and this card shows how conflicted they are. They really, really don't know. So we have two very conflicting cards here and these cards are showing us that they prefer the other the second option but we still have these cards so let's let's go on and the next card is showing us the future so what can we see about the future if this docu series is postponed and we get the 3 of pentacles so this is a better card as well 3 of pentacles this is a card of a recognition, this is a card of reward. This card shows that they will get more support if they are postponing the docu-series and probably postponing it uh, over the, uh, the, the, the January. And I am going now to add another option of postponing it over January. And uh, and this will be for January, and the next one will be uh, postponing it maybe even for next year. So this will be the third option. Okay. So we see here that they re feel that, their, the, that this docuseries will be more successful if it is postponed. The time is not right now, and uh, it will be accepted better if it is postponed. Okay, so the next card is the reasons. And as I said, it is the obstacles, actually. And we're getting the three of wands. Three of wands, that is uh, the, the second uh, three here. Threes are always a card of a, a resolution of the first cycle in the tarot. And the three of wands sounds very, very much like the three of pentacles it is about a uh, recognition and cooperation so uh, this is about recognition and reward this is about recognition and cooperation but it's we're looking at the negative aspects and it shows arrogance it shows extra ego it shows extra self-confidence which is kind of conflicting on with the with the cards that we got for the first option so uh, it does show that they see problems they see problems they see that they uh, will be seen arrogant uh, the success they will be seen as if they are extra self-confident running forward and it goes very well with the eight of wands that we got in the beginning so uh, despite the fact that it's a very good card it is also a lot of problems here and the uh, solutions and um, is the two of swords so if we're looking at uh, what, is, um, what are the solutions here, what is the potential here, uh, Two of Swords is not a good card. Two of Swords is a card of uh, not seeing reality as it is. It shows us that they are making the wrong choice, that they are uh, not thinking about reality, in, uh, in the, unable to cope with reality. So in order for this to uh, be better, they need to take off the blindfold. They need to see reality as it is. They need to realize how to uh, how to see the how to uh, uh, see to uh, how to cope re with reality, and they it only shows us how difficult this option is. So, uh, putting this uh, the this docu series uh, right with the book is not going to be better as well. Okay, so. 
What can we see about the third option of postponing it further on in next year? And the first card is showing us the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is about letting go, letting the uh, universe take its course, letting the universe decide. So this is the third card that we came up here that speaks about uh, leaving leaving things to the to destiny and this is what the eight of cups is so in a way and if we're looking at the the essence of how netflix feel towards uh, this docuseries this card shows that uh, regarding uh, putting it in the end of the next year or uh, after the book comes out uh, they are not they're not enthusiastic but they can also see the good side of it. They can also see that there is a, this luck a component here. So this is a, not as good as the Eight of Wands, but it's much better than the Hanged Man. So they, it, both of these cards show that they are leaning, or the, at least that it will be better for them to air the docuseries later on and not in December. And once again, this is not telling us what they will decide. It shows us what is better for them. So the next card is the present or how do they feel towards the, the option of uh, postponing it to a later date next year and we get the moon. So they are not enthusiastic uh, about this as well. As you can see here, the three major arcanas are about this. So it, it shows me that they are not enthusiastic about this docuseries as a whole because they are not they're not enthusiastic about any of the options. Now, there aren't any more options. And uh, they are not happy about this docuseries. So that, it may, that might be why we got the Eight of Wands here, that they feel the need to uh, run away from a, a burning building. And why we got here the Eight of Cups that shows us that they are just leaving it to destiny. And also it shows us why their whole feelings towards this docuseries are about the hanged men, that they feel that they had to change their point of view. They were very, very excited in the beginning. They're not so excited now. So the, the moon card is a, a card of a, the severe a mental a, problems for people that are not mentally stable. So this card shows us that they are not enthusiastic about this option as well. Now, the next card is the future. So what can we see about the future of this card? If we, if they, about this future of this series, if they postpone it and we get the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Pentacles is about disappointment, disappointment from reality. And the Seven of Pentacles also tells us that uh, they are willing to do whatever they can to make it better. But uh, it does show us that they are looking towards disappointment. So this is the glimpse to the future. And the next card is the reasons or the obstacles. And what we're getting here is the Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands is a card that speaks about going on a victory quest, but asking for help. And it needs to be uh, not, a, 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 not a very, uh, um, wait a minute, I forgot the word conventional help helped. So this shows us that the, there are a lot of quarrels, a lot of power struggles between the Sussexes and the Netflix. It all causes a lot of obstacles in the airing of this docuseries later on. Uh, it shows us a uh, over self-confidence from the Sussex side. It shows that the Sussexes believe that the victory will come out no matter 
what they do and uh, that they will succeed. Netflix don't see that uh, this way. They feel that this docuseries need some kind of unconventional help in order to make it work. Uh, something that they can do if they are postponing it so they will be able to work about on it a little more, more deeply. So this a card is showing us that although this there are a deeper uh, quarrels and deeper uh, this uh, arguments here uh, this uh, is postponing the docu series for a longer time will allow Netflix to work on the uh, problems okay so the results or the potential of this option is the Empress another major arcana but this is a good major arcana. This is a major arcana that speaks about giving everything that you can. This is also the mother card. And I remind you that we are speaking about Harry. And uh, this is, a, if they want this uh, docuseries to work when they are uh, broadcasting it later on, they need to work on Harry's uh, image as a parent and probably to include the children uh, uh, which is probably something that is not included by now so postponing this docuseries will allow them to give more scope on harry as a parent and on his children uh, the, and just leave Megan aside, despite the fact that this is a mother card, but we're talking about Harry, so we're talking about Harry parenting skills. So this option is better for them in this instance. So altogether, if we're looking at all three options, uh, I can sell, tell you quite a, quite a, without doubt that the third option is better for them. They should, this, uh, they should um, postpone this docuseries. Uh, this will work better for them, uh, but uh, this is their, their decision to make. But once again, if they postpone this, uh, if they postpone this and if they include more of Harry being a parent, if they put in the children, if they are getting over all of the quarrels and this over self-confidence that comes from the Sussex side, then they will be able to uh, succeed better than any of the other options. So this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm sorry, after already uh, finishing this, I, uh, remind, uh, I was reminded that I did not take out uh, a card uh, from the Oracle deck that I had here. Uh, this reading is taking a lot of energy, so I really felt that I, I was done with, so I, but I do want to take out the Oracle card, so I'm adding this. Uh, and let's see the oracle card will be for netflix and what should they do how should they go towards this question of harry and this uh, docuseries so this is the energy oracle i'm clearing the deck okay so an energy <clears throat> card for netflix what is Netflix energy right now is in regard to the Sussex's docu-series. What is a Netflix energy right now? Okay, the card that I'm getting is walking away. So they are very much in the in the energy of walking away, of leaving. This is, goes very well with the eight of cups uh, that we got in the first option. This is about leaving this question about walking away from the Sussexes 
And <clears throat> this indicates that uh, it should be a good time for them to let go and uh, to just leave it for the universe to take its course, just like the um, Eight of Cups has shown them. So this only, uh, only uh, enforces my feeling that the third option is the better for them. Okay, so this is it now, and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.